Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at moving pattern elements further apart in Illustrator. I'm going to create a brand new document here. My document is going to be a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels in size. Now if you want to create a design that say has a circle, just a polka dot, this is what you're going to do. I'm going to give it a fill but it's not going to have any stroke at all. Let's just give it a better fill. I'm just going to do red and I'll draw out a dot. So I'm going to the ellipse tool, I'm holding the shift key and it's going to be a fairly small dot. With this selected I'm going to object pattern make and this is the basic pattern that you get but I want my pattern to look a bit different to this. So I'm going to increase the width and height. I've got this icon selected here so that the width and height are going to be adjusted together and I'm just going to start increasing them. And this forces my dots away from each other which gives me, for what I want, a better looking pattern. I'm going to click done. So this is what my pattern looks like. But not everything is as simple as that. Let's go to the pencil tool here. I'm going to draw a sort of loopy line and we're going to join that into a pattern. So I'm going to use sort of a 45 degree angle here. I'm going to simplify my path down and try and get it to look a little bit more loopy. I can also smooth it using the smooth tool. Once I'm happy with that I'll select the line and I'm just going to scale it down a little bit. I think it's a bit on the big side. I'm making sure that it has a stroke and no fill. I'll choose object pattern make. Now this is joining up reasonably well except that I think bits of it need to be cut out. So let me just show the tile edge here. Let's zoom in and let's cut a piece off it because this bit is a little bit long. So I'm going to select my shape. I'll actually add a bit of a stroke to it. I'm going to the scissors tool and I'm going to cut this piece off my path. Now I'm just going to bring everything in so it joins up. So that's looking like it's going to join up pretty well. Let's go back to the pencil tool. Let's select on the line and I'm just going to redraw the line. I think it'll be easier to draw it back up here. It's going to make this join a little bit better. So that's roughly how my line is going to join. But the problem I'm having with this design is that everything's really close together. I would like it to be further apart. So before I go to all the trouble of joining it, I want to move things further apart. To do that, I'm going to choose something like brick by row. And then I'm going to add an offset. So an offset such as one half. You can see that these things are no longer joining up, which is why I didn't bother joining them up at this stage because it's just a waste of time. So now let's start moving things. To use this brick by row with a half offset I have to push things apart and as they push apart you can see that we're getting a better design. If we didn't want things so close we now don't have things as close as they were previously. I can perhaps just move these a little bit because I think that it's still not a really good joining plan right now. But this is a pretty good design to join up. So at this stage if I was happy with the spacing I would come into my design. I'm just going to zoom into the area where I want to do the join. So this is giving us a much more spaced out design than we would have got had we been using the grid option. So if you need to space your pattern elements apart when you're working with designs like this, have a look at the options for brick by row and just experiment with the brick offset until you get sort of the spacing that you want and then start joining things together. So I hope this video has been of help to you in working out how to make sort of free form organic designs but getting the spacing within the basic design that you want. Now I have more Illustrator training at Skillshare.com. If you sign up for Skillshare you get access to thousands of classes there including over 250 of mine. 
In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you, which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer, and typically mine will be better. I also have Illustrator training at udemy.com, and there's a referral link for every one of those courses in the description below. Please feel free to share these with family, friends, and co-workers. I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned things about Illustrator of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.